My name is Deirdre Gray. I am a seaman on the Coast Guard Cutter Healy. The Healy is a platform for science. That was what Healy was created for. So our main objective and mission is to assist the National Science Foundation in their science research of the Bering in the Arctic. Uh, seamen's role is going to vary depending on where they actually are located. For instance, seamen on cutters do a lot more of maintenance on the ship itself, uh, line repair, maintenance on search and rescue gear, stuff related with small boats, deck work, painting, things like that. Being on Healy, we have a chance to do a bit more than a seaman on a 378 might. We have cranes which we're able to become operators of, which is one of my positions. We also have the opportunity to become a JOD, which is a junior officer of the deck, meaning that I get to do some chart work, some plotting, things like that. Basically run interference on the bridge to make sure that the OOD, uh, the officer of the deck, is able to maintain their situational awareness and drive the ship safely. Sometimes your day can be tiring. Um, you can start work at 8 o'clock and you might not end until you know 10 o'clock, 2200 that evening. Um, and that's just sometimes how a day goes. And you grow used to that, you adapt, and you build your stamina to be able to complete work like that. When you're underway, kind of how you decide to spend your free time is up to you, and it's only limited by the amount of space that you have. The Healy has two gyms, so working out is probably the number one way that people spend their off hours. Uh, other things that they do is uh, we play video games, whether it be on little handheld consoles or whether you want to bring like your PlayStation or your Xbox underway with you. Uh, people also write emails to their family and loved ones. Uh, we also have movies that play when we're underway. There's three channels that are dedicated to movies every night. So if you feel like sitting down and watching a movie in the lounge with your friends or something, you can do that. Being on the Healy, we only have 75 crew members. And for the most part, everyone gets along fairly well. You get to know everybody, you know, just passing by, have little short conversations. I had mentioned to a few people, kind of just to see what the reaction was, that I was going to start knitting when I was underway. And actually, I didn't get the response that I was really thinking I was going to get. Instead, a lot of people were like, oh, well, I know how to crochet too. So I, I brought my stuff over, and then after that, we just kind of impromptu knitting and crochet sessions a few times a week whenever we uh, we're all free together. Sometimes on Saturday nights we sit down and watch movies in their room and just you know talk away knitting and crocheting. Our operational schedule is generally determined by the needs and requirements of the National Science Foundation so they would generally have us on three months or four months deployments with a mid patrol break in the past few years, Healy has mainly stayed in the Bering and in the Arctic Ocean. That has provided a lot of unique experiences because not only are we breaking ice continuously, we've been able to go out in the ice for ice liberty, which means the crew can go out in the ice and enjoy some time off, some time to play. We've had polar bears come up right next to the ship when we're stopped sometimes. So these are things that outside of the military, I don't think I would have ever had the experience to see or do.